there, I'm Amy Cassandra Martinez for Red Carpet Report, and we're in West Hollywood for Doris Bergman's 2018 Emmy Style Gifting Lounge. How are you? Good, how are you, lady? Always good. Yeah? Always. Oh, I'm a shock. She's on such a limited schedule picking four kids up at 11.55. Okay. you know, that's oh my not why she's here. Oh. <laughs> I mean, hey, why I know not? her schedule. Oh, that's good. You yeah. guys are that close. That's yeah. great. Is that a light meter, or are you video videotaping us separately? Oh, are you? Uh, Do it from of... higher. We're so much cuter higher. You know what people love? And when I say hi, You know I what mean, people who, who we... love? What? People love to get video footage of you complaining about the... <laughs> or correcting their lighting. No. It's really, it's, he something, knows us. it's something people strive for in the industry, and you've just fulfilled that. So I think women complaining is the hot new item. I would disagree with you. Time's up on being oh, complacent. That's, that's not what that means. Time's up on getting along. Also, not what that means. No? <laughs> that's what happens in our house. No. Hey, no. That sounds like. I kicked all my kids out of my house. Time's up on cooking. No, no. Also, that's also not, not part of oh. it. No. Nope. All right, explain. Nope. No. I, I can't, there's not time, literally. No. Okay, what are we here for? Hi. Hi. Hi, so the Emmys are on Monday. Oh, oh Emmys. Emmys, oh, yeah. What? So what are you guys going to be doing Monday night? Cheering for a lot of women to win. Helping my daughter with homework. I mean, watching the Emmys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, good mom, don't care anymore. <laughs> well, what is it about Good mom. Oh, so selfish. Yes. I, I have four kids, and I cook them, and they're done. Got them all out. Oh, oh. Last two in college. She doesn't mean literally. Done. Yeah, Although I, that happened that, as well. I got I them mean, all out. Okay. Got them all this out. Is, this going is going horribly wrong. No, this is actually and fantastic. None of your interviews will also be like this. So there's that <laughs> to look forward to. AKA truthful. I mean, that's what we have right here. Um, so, okay, so with TV shows, you know, we can watch them on streaming services, we can watch them on cable. Yeah. None Where of which we get residuals for. Go ahead. <laughs> Where are you guys? watching stuff? Uh, I do. I enjoy the uh, on-demand because uh, I don't enjoy well, commercials so much and I also enjoy, I still call it taping shows. I tape shows. Yeah. Wow. Nobody yeah. understands that. Yeah. Hello 1990s. I know. I hope nothing I, messes with my tape machine. <laughs> I don't. That has nothing to do with it for me because I actually like the commercial breaks. Okay. I don't even care if they exist anymore. I just need time to get up and go potty and, and possibly get a soda. Wow. I don't like waiting for the next show. I want to see all of the season. Yeah, like a binge watch. I enjoy a binge. I want to do it in two or three days. I call a friend over. I need backup. And I want to sit there for three days and watch all of Orange's New Black. I don't so I can time. scream for my favorite characters. She watch. I don't get it. She goes two shows and she's like, it's 10:30. I'm going to bed. And I'm yeah. like, bitch, what's wrong with you? The bitch. The, the thing that's wrong with me is that I get up at seven. So that's what's wrong. At 10:30 is late. Go to bed at four. Get up at seven. Watch five more shows. Really, really good idea. Said no one ever in the history of time. I don't. I. I don't get it. I can't wait for more shows. Listen, I was lucky enough to be on Glow. I'm hoping to be back season three. I'm gonna expect for you to watch all of it in one day. Um, that is a challenge I probably will not meet. <laughs> I'm throwing the gauntlet you down. You heard it here right, first. Fine. And we're gonna wrestle okay. over it. I like that. So what are you guys watching? Like when you do have time, what are you watching? I'm very, very, very sad that uh, Marvelous Mrs. Maisel is no longer in town for a long time. And I may stalk her on the interweb. Uh, I do. I am obsessed with that show, and I'm like mad it's gone. I'm still mad. Alex Bornstein, I will say this, and no kidding. Alex Bornstein, who in real life is so quiet, I did Killers with her, and she is, I mean, the master of voices, if you know her, like Family Guy and all of her history. But she is. She's an odd duck in real life. She plays the manager, you know, the, the little tiny manager who, who dresses like a dude. Right. But her monologue, if you know the show and if you don't watch it, 
because having come up in stand up, I mean, I was an actress before stand up, but you I know can't. This is like a quick format. Shut up. Okay. Okay. Every, people are riveted Got by it. this interview. Okay, Make no on. mistake. So riveted. I leave in 15 minutes. Okay, the, the, the rest of this yeah. discussion is going to take that long. So, oh, I, should, I leave, should I let you be with the so camera the world, and the light? The no? world, the microphone? The, the world of stand up oh. from back in the day, uh -huh. which is supposed to be like about Joan Rivers' time, okay, <laughs> is very close to what they talk about. Yeah. But her monologue, when she goes from the one apartment to the other apartment and back down to the apartment, when that monologue got done, Alex Borstein, I tweeted, that's an Emmy winning. You just won an Emmy, Alex Borstein. I am blown away by that show, and I'm yes. campaigning right now. TV. Listen, we want to be on TV. it. We just want to be on it. Okay, okay. it's true. There you go. That Perfect. show, Handmaid's right Tale, Glow, basically Handmaid's every Tale. show that is finally showing women as real characters, as I've always said, real characters, not just like an adjunct to a man's penis or how we feed him. What she said, just in a lot shorter time. <laughs> and and not and not having to do with the word penis. I know this means nothing to you, but when <laughs> she there wants are, free stuff. When there are numbers on a time, that indicates the time that it is. And da -da 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 I'm not like you. I'm not comfortable showing up late. Buffalo. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this interview, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos, and let us know in the comments down below, what are you doing Emmy's night?